Hi guys, Jess Johannek here with the Pottery Farm out in Little Old Buffalo. Today is Tuesday, April 5th. Just yesterday I got back from um, the National Clay Conference that we have here in the States and was kind of injected with this enthusiasm and, and excitement for the process all over again. Not that it wasn't there before, but really kind of re-upped everything and it, it reminded me how much I love the process of making clay especially on a manual wheel I love that you're using your whole body to make stuff and not incorporating in any electricity or other machinery I'm just using your wheel to make pots so I'm going to do this uh, video on my leech style treadle wheel hope you guys enjoy it I've been working on some little lidded boxes they're round about this big they have lids but you don't have to measure because you throw it all in one piece so I think you guys will get a kick out of this with these treadle wheels your leg is moving the whole time that you're throwing it's not really hard work sometimes you have to move a little quicker but This is just a little over, right around two pounds, maybe a tiny bit over. I'm open right now, so I'm kind of watching for people coming in at the same time that we're working on this. out cylinder base so I'm gonna go down maybe just a little over a quarter inch at the base and I'm gonna open this up with a flat bottom I'm not gonna open it very wide no wider than I need because I usually end up bringing the bottom in further anyways to accentuate the nice round shape I go for First pull, very, very, very standard. Just a nice upwards pull. I keep my sponge in my hand with some extra water on it so if, as I'm pulling the clay seems to dry out, I can just give this hand a little squeeze. Maybe what I'll do now is zoom you guys in a little bit so you can see what we're working on. promise to try and keep the project in the frame here, unlike some other times. That probably should be good. Always make sure the wheel gets spinning in the right direction. With these treadle wheels, the wheel will spin either direction. So I'm going to push in to do this pulls, I'm always trying to get that base a little bit thinner. I'm not going to accentuate that round curve quite yet. I don't want it to collapse on me before I get it all bottled in. Take away this little bit of excess down here with my potter's thumb. I know that process of taking this clay away can be a little tricky for some people. With this, this thinner, this is the thinner part of the blade. You want to run that right along the piece where you want to shape it. And then to get that little flange of clay away, you kind of point the tool back at yourself. This piece flat on the bottom and that'll peel that away. Okay. Now I'm going to shape this just a tiny bit more. I don't want to get it too thin though. I got a bottle in this whole top part. First. 
so get my hands nice and wet and I'm going to shape my hands kind of in little hooks like this. I'm going to be using this fingertip and these, my thumb fingertip and this knuckle right here on each hand. So there are six places collaring it in. And I'm going in and up at the same time. Did I show you that wrong? Like this, not like this. So my middle finger is the one that's hooked in like that. And I'm just bringing this up and in at the same time. If you go all in at the same spot and just keep bringing it in and in and in, you're going to get your clay really thin and you're not going to get that same round shape. The wall will just come straight in. This is a throwing stick. I'm going to use this round edge. I'm going to put it inside the pot and it's going to push out that belly for me if I do it right here. This takes a little bit of dexterity, a little bit of getting used to. I'm still very much learning how to use this successfully. And see how this stick allows me to get in where I wouldn't be able to reach my hands now. Sometimes it's easy to get a little greedy with this and keep thinking, well, I can get it a little rounder, a little rounder, until you realize you have a pancake. Now, I'm going to bottle this in until it's all the way closed. So, shaping my hands like that again. Moving in and up. I'm not going to need all this clay and it's harder to move more than I need. So I take that off with the needle. I'm just going to check again that I'm still on screen. Maybe even get a little closer for you guys. Too close. There we go. All right, so kind of shaping as I do one last pull here to thin this top part out, but pushing in at the same time. You kind of lean over and look from the side at the shape I'm making. 